In horror movies, the blind don't lead the blind. They strike back against the forces of evil. Here are horror's top 10 blind badasses. Now you're gonna see what I see. Number 10, The Eye. Angelica Lee as Wong Kar Moon. Has eye surgery in a horror movie ever yielded positive results? When a talented violinist gets a corneal transplant, she is given the curse of second sight. She begins to witness sinister apparitions that foretell death. What at first seems like a waking nightmare starts to become a gift as this blind badass uses her abilities to save lives and release trapped spirits from hell on earth. Number 9, Julia's Eyes. Belen Rueda as Julia Levin and Sarah. All Julia wants is for her deteriorating eyes to recover in time to see her boyfriend's body before it is buried. But will she live that long? Someone is stalking Julia, slowly picking off the people in her life. First her twin sister, murder, then her lover, and now they are hunting her, toying with Julia, even as her newly transplanted eyes begin to heal. Number eight, Jennifer Eight, Uma Thurman as Helena Robertson. Those eyes, those big, beautiful, bewitching eyes. But here, they're incapable of seeing the identity of the serial killer on the rampage or of seeing just how dreamy Andy Garcia is as the day-saving detective. They work together to unravel the mystery of a severed hand. Helena proves irresistible to both the damaged cop and the elusive killer. And I don't know what his trigger is. Number seven, The Beyond. Cinzia Monreal as Emily. Just because you're a doomsayer doesn't mean you're wrong. Emily is the only one who knows the horrific undead bloodbath about to befall Louisiana. And what a bloodbath it is. Like only Lucio Fulci can create. As Emily and her loyal dog Dickie contend with a cursed painting a horde of zombies, and a gateway to hell. Number six, see no evil. Mia Farrow as Sarah Rexton. There is a chilling moment in this classic 70s thriller when Sarah returns home from a date and goes to bed, blissfully unaware that her family has been slaughtered all around her, or that the killer will come back to finish what he started. Alone in the woods, no means of communication, she looks for safety. But she doesn't know the face nor the voice of the killer, so it could be anyone. Number five, Cat O Nine Tales. Carl Malden as Franco Cookie Arno. Cookie can no longer see, but that doesn't make him any less of an ace investigative reporter. In this classic giallo from Dario Argento, a homicidal maniac with dark gloves and darker secrets is cutting a bloody swath through Rome. Cookie and his niece race the police and try and solve the mystery and stop the killer. Did I mention the sword cane? Yeah, Cookie carries a sword cane. Number four, Wait Until Dark, Audrey Hepburn as Susie Hendricks. Susie is the prototype, the blind badass who influenced every other name on this list. And it's because 
of her vulnerability. Susie isn't a warrior, just a survivor. She seems delicate at first, but she has managed to overcome all other obstacles in her life and eventually turns the tables on the cruel villains that hunt her, taking them out on pure blind instinct. Not all badasses are warriors. Sometimes they're regular people who get pushed too far. Number three, The Village, Bryce Dallas Howard as Ivy Walker. She could not see, and so she could not see their lies and deceptions. As Ivy ventures into the great unknown of the world beyond the forest, it is one far greater than she could have ever imagined. Although the film itself is widely debated, like all M. Night Shyamalan films, there is no debating the raw courage of Ivy Walker, who confronts both the monsters of the wood and the monsters of the meeting hall. Number two, Don't Breathe. Stephen Lang as Norman Nordstrom, the blind man. He is not trapped in the darkness. He owns the darkness. His blindness is his greatest strength and strongest ally. The three thieves who break into his lair have no idea what they are up against. Now they have to rely on their other senses to navigate a slice of suburban hell. But even escaping his darkened fortress of a home into the bright light of day won't bring safety from the blind man who proved to be so remarkable that he is getting another movie with even higher stakes. Number one, Late Phases. Nick DiMici as Ambrose McKean. Proud, dignified, self-reliant. Even at his advancing age, Ambrose won't let anyone else solve his problems. When his seeing eye dog is butchered by a werewolf, Ambrose starts counting down the days to the next full moon so that he can take revenge with his own two hands. An officer, a gentleman, a credit to his country, and an unrivaled werewolf slayer, Ambrose McKinley is horror's ultimate Mind badass. If we have learned anything from these sight challenge survivors, it's that what you can't see can hurt you a lot. <laughs> 